Hello? Oh, so you're just gonna, like, do your work outside and not let me film a video, that's fine. That's fine. Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a video showing you what's in my backup drawer, which has um, mostly just like body creams or lotions and body sprays that for the most part I got from semi-annual sales. Now if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I am not really a backup person. I do have a lot of products, so I don't go through them that fast. And it's not oftentimes where I finished a whole scent and was so obsessed with it that I wanted more. Like I get bored, um, I can't like use the same scent over and over again, like I need some excitement. So I don't necessarily feel the need for backups except sometimes. So recently, within the last year, I did start getting more backups. Um, before I was just like completely against backups, like entirely, no matter what the scent was. And now, you know, that line has been blurred a little bit. So let me show you the scents that I considered worthy of backups. So my first backup in my drawer is strawberry soda. Now, A, these were really cheap. So if you're gonna get backups, you know, that is the time during the semi-annual sale. I apologize if throughout this video you can hear lawn mowers. I'm trying to film when they like stop mowing the lawn, but those moments are few and in between, so I'm sorry. I didn't know if I'd like this because artificial strawberries from Bath & Body Works haven't always been the greatest. But I don't know when they're gonna come out with a scent like this again. It's unique, it's strawberry soda. This to me smells like a slightly fizzy strawberry, kind of like compote um, from Poland that I used to drink. Just like kind of like a strawberry drink. I'm also totally obsessed with the packaging of this collection, so I just, I couldn't help myself. I got a backup. Same thing with cherry limeade. This is like gummy worms, very intense lime kind of scent, a little bit of cherry. It's a juicy red cherries, candied lime, sparkling citrus soda. It's amazing, it's bomb, I love this stuff. This can pair with so many different things. It's just a very fresh but sweet scent, so I had to get a backup because again, when are they gonna come out with Cherry Limeade again? When? You're probably sensing a pattern now, but I also got Mango uh, Mai Tai. This is Mango Nectar, Sunkissed Guava, Sugar Cane. This entire collection was just, it screams me. If you watch my videos, you know I love my fruity, juicy scents. This is such a good sugary mango. I love mango. I love any like fruity, tropical, juicy kind of scent, and this is one of the best mangoes ever. So I had to, had to get a backup of that. And then I have Watermelon Lemonade, which I actually didn't feel the need for a backup, but I liked this packaging so much, and it was like the last thing I ever picked up from SAS. I just saw it and I just got it because I love this scent and I needed the matching packaging to the rest of the collection, so. Oh well. Along with that, I did get in an extra cherry limeade uh, body cream and a mango Mai Tai body cream. I do have other strawberry lotions, so I didn't feel like getting another strawberry soda one. But this is fresh, and this is very sweet and like, um, you know, fruity, so th these pair with a lot of different scents. And I go through body creams pretty fast, so yeah, I had to get backups. Then of course I have a backup of Firecracker Pop. This is red cherry, fresh citrus, juicy berry. This scent is amazing, it smells like a cherry icy, a cherry fruit by the foot, just all that goodness, so I had to have to get a backup of both the body cream and the body spray. I'm hoping this lasts me until next year so I can wear it on 4th of July um, and just use up the one that I have now for fun, but yeah, I absolutely love this and I don't know if they're ever gonna come out with this scent ever again and it's one of my favorites that they've ever come out with, ever. So. Had to get a backup. Then, of course, I have a backup of Raspberry Tangerine. This is Wild Raspberries Fresh Tangerine Lemon Zest. Whenever I get backups, I know that it has to be like a fruity, juicy scent because those are the scents that I love the most. So I know I'll eventually get through them. You know what I mean? And if I don't, I can always like sell them or give them away or whatever else. But yeah, I had to get an extra Raspberry Tangerine. I do wish I had the packaging that like Watermelon Lemonade, Mango Mai Tai, like all of that comes in in Raspberry Tangerine just to like continue that collection because I think it's so pretty, but I do like this packaging, so yeah, had to get a backup. This is Confetti Cake Pop, which I actually prefer in the lotion and the mist. I used to own the mist, but then I ended up reselling it, so yeah, I regret that decision. But that one was very warm and the actual like lotion to me smells like cake, yellow cake and vanilla pudding. Like it smells so freaking insane. 
a very sweet icing. I love this stuff, so I had to get a backup of the lotion. Now let's move on to Victoria's Secret. So I got a backup of Pure Seduction Radiant. This collection, I loved. This was one of my favorite summer collections. This is Vibrant Pineapple Pomelo Splash Pure Seduction Gets Glowing. This has a very harsh grapefruit scent, essentially. And I love grapefruit, so to me this is like the perfect like summertime juicy citrusy scent. I love this. I love the packaging, I love the color, I love everything about this. So I had to get a backup because this is one of those scents that I know I'll eventually get through. I don't mind just having for my collection so that I can use another one. Like I honestly wish I could just have like a collection of things that I just want forever just because of like, I don't know, like the packaging or I remember a special moment with that spray and then the same sprays to just like use up, you know? But yeah, love this. Same with Velvet Petals Radiant. This is like a watermelon kiwi smell. It's very light, sweet, candy-like, fresh. It's so good. These two for the summertime are like my faves. I love these. Then from Victoria's Secret Pink, I got a backup of Berry Pop. Um, this is the new packaging. I have the old packaging, which I actually prefer, but this is a very like frozen strawberry scent almost. Like if you smell frozen strawberries, it's very, sweet, just a very nice strawberry scent. And again, strawberry scents are hit or miss, but this is definitely a hit. It smells so good. And then I also have Passion Punch, which smells like grapefruit and fruit punch. It smells so good. Again, similar to Pure Seduction Radiant, that kind of vibe. Definitely like amazing summer scents, so absolutely love these. And the last two backups that I have are actually some of my favorite scents of all time. That's why I have a backup. I have Secret Sunrise, which is Sunlit Berries Pink Petals, you're on island time. This smells like Electric Beach, which is like my second favorite uh, Victoria's Secret Pink Spray of all time, like ever. So I had to get a backup of this one, additionally to owning Electric Beach and one of these, and then Tropic Splash. This is newer to me. I know this was an older release. They re-released it. I had to get a backup. I'm obsessed with this. This is like a running contender, and I think I actually like this more than this now, but this is Juicy Citrus Mango Punch Neon Burst. Everything I love. It just smells so fruity, but there's like something floral in there that also makes it very like young girl perfumey that just adds a little extra oomph to it and where it's not just fruity. I love fruity fragrances. Florals I shy away from, but a perfect fragrance has just the right floral and just the right amount of it with the fruitiness that just chef's kiss. Amazing. So yeah, I have these guys. All right, you guys, that is everything from my backup drawer. Let me know if you love any of those scents, if you have backups of any of these, and your favorite scent that they came out with like this last summer. I would love to hear it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.